hello everyone welcome back to the channel in this video i will discuss the concept of supernode the previous two videos were on nodal analysis i have started with the basic concept of nodal analysis then applied that concept to different numerical problems where we came across the case when we have a voltage source present between reference node and any other node. So this concept of super node is applicable when we have a voltage source present between any two nodes. To understand this, let's consider a network consisting of different sources and resistances So as discussed earlier, the very first step in nodal analysis is we need to identify that how many nodes are there where we can apply KCL effectively. So here we have three nodes, one, two and this one which is interconnection of current source resistance R2, R3 and then voltage source V2. So this is third node out of these three nodes we have to assign one of them as reference node and this one i am considering as reference let's say this is node x this is node y now with respect to the reference we have to assign the voltage to these two nodes let's assign the voltage vx to node x and vy to node y now when we try to apply KCL, we know that the current in this branch is I because we have a current source connected in this branch which is supplying current I in upward direction. We can calculate the current through resistance R2 as Vx upon R2. But when we come across the branch which is having voltage source V1, as we don't have the idea about the resistance of this branch, so we can't write the current because if we write it as potential difference divided by resistance then it becomes infinity which is not possible. So what we can say that we are not able to apply KCL to node X. Same problem occurs when we move on to node Y. We can write the current through resistance R4, we can write the current through resistance R3 but we can't write the current through this branch which is having a voltage source. So what we need to do, we need to combine these two nodes together to make a super node. So in super node, we will have two equations. One is by application of KCL and second is the constraint equation. So what we need to do, combine node X and node Y to make a super node then apply KCL at super node. So when we apply KCL at super node, we have to write the current through each branch except the branch which is common between two nodes. Like here we have a branch which is having voltage source V1 that we need to leave 
in rest of branches we need to write the current so we know the direction of current is this it's flowing towards node x so it is incoming current rest of the current's directions are unknown so let's assume all of them as outgoing current through r2 that is leaving node 2 uh, so node x current through r3 is leaving node y current through r4 is leaving node y so as per kcl sum of incoming currents that is equal to sum of outgoing currents so there is a single current which is incoming so that should be equal to current through resistance r2 so vx minus 0 by r2 plus current through r3 is v y minus 0 by r3 then current through r4 v y minus v2 minus 0 by r4 so this is our first equation second equation will be the constraint imposed by the voltage source which is connected between two nodes so second is our constraint equation now what is the constraint constraint is potential difference between these two nodes that should be equal to v1 node x is connected to positive terminal of the voltage source while node y is connected to negative terminal it means node x is at higher potential in comparison to node y this means the constraint equation is v1 is vx minus vy should be equal to v1 so this is our second equation so when we have two equations then we can solve these two for two unknowns so in this way we can apply the concept of super node when we have a voltage source common to two nodes in next video i will apply this concept of super node for solving different numerical problems